Inside a tumour, cancer cells need an enormous amount of nutrients to support their rapid growth. This means their metabolism is significantly different from healthy cells. Thanks to the eye knife, we can measure these differences in metabolism in real time. As the eye knife cuts into the tumour, a vapour of small metabolites is taken up and rapidly analysed by mass spectrometry. This metabolite vapour doesn't just broadly tell you the difference between healthy and diseased cells. It can establish the exact metabolic fingerprint of the cancer cells. And it can even tell us about specific mutations in the underlying disease. Here we have found specific metabolic characteristics in breast cancer that underpin one of the most frequently altered oncogenic pathways supporting cancer cell proliferation. Mutant pic 3 ca unleashes a signalling pathway in which mTORC2 and PDK1 phosphorylate PKC zeta, leading to the activation of CPLA2. This is independent of the canonical AKT mTORC1 signalling. CPLA2 is a phospholipase involved in cleaving phospholipids, generating arachidonic acid and leading to eicosanoid overproduction. These bioactive lipids are released from PIK3CA mutant cells to support both autocrine and paracrine cell proliferation and prevent natural killer cells from infiltrating and attacking the tumour. As long as there are enough fatty acids available to fuel the mutant PIK3CA driven tumours, their growth is sustained. Our results in mice have shown a remarkable synergy between fat-free diet and CPLA2 inhibition. By removing the fatty acids required for tumour growth and by inhibiting CPLA2, we are able to restore natural killer cell activity and effectively treat the cancer. Being able to measure a tumour's metabolic fingerprint in real time means we can now take one step further in designing treatment regimes where nutrition is able to support targeted anti-cancer therapies.